its strength, right? Yes. He makes it, so he's not knocked prone. So wait, if his if his ankles are wrapped up in vines, would he just fall backward with his feet still? In place? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he would just use it to like keep himself up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he was either gonna fall on his ass like a felled tree, or he was gonna be ripped out of the ground and fell on his ass. Like a even more even an even feller tree. Yeah. But uh, I think that's everything. That's action, bonus action, bonus action. movement. Yeah. Yeah. So as Rhino connects only one hit, you see that hit connects against Prince Chestplate, and. You, you just see the whole chest plate just crack and buckle Damn. in. It's not destroyed, but you just hear it break like stone. Imagine if he wasn't wearing armor. That might kill him. And so wait it... a minute. That would hurt. What? Yeah. So wait, it cracked the atom armor? Like, if you could think, if you visualize Prince chest plate, which I don't have yeah. the full picture in front anymore. You know how uh -huh. most armor plates kind of bow forward to try and deflect the force of blows? Yeah. And Prince Armor is made out of, is layered with Adam? Yeah. Rhino literally, like, flattened out that bulge. Damn. And cracked the fucking Adam plate. Damn. It's still on him, but, like, it's... I already said damn. Yeah. There, there's pieces, like, missing. And if it probably will say if it wasn't for Prin's feet being tied to the ground, he would have been on his ass. And Rhino has joined the fight. Aww. <laughs> Aww. And Celeste trying to take stock of everything that's happening. You know, kind of covers her abdomen, tries to reach out her hand to do something, and just nothing happens. And she just gets a panicked look on her face, and she does it like two or three more times. And where's Celeste? Celeste there. Way up there still. Yeah. What? She's right, right there. The top. Yeah, like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't like where that arrow is yeah, like, Don't, Don't give me more emotions right now, fam. It's not what I need. Just run over, realizing that her magic's, like, failed her. And I just gotta go one here. And dash. She'll kind of just come to a stop, look at all three of you, and she'll just pull out the decanter <laughs> and point it at Hyala, and she'll just say out loud, like, get away from him! As she tries to show Hyala down. Oh, that would feel so nice. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> She's just like, ah. Ah! I'm ah. <laughs> Again. <laughs> well, well this this place wait a minute. It doesn't. Yeah, it's, it's only 30. Own. It's only 30 foot uh, long. Oh, is she not close enough? 
No, the... so it just sort of taper off when it hits Yala. <laughs> well, I intended like it to be 30 feet, and I thought because I was measuring 30 feet across that line, I can't math, so... Yeah, you should, probably should have measured from Yala. I was trying... I probably should have, but... Yeah, but the, anywho, The million years. No, only guilty. Uh, one foot wide. So make, uh, you must succeed the DC 13 state strength save. <laughs> she was, she was she so bad by how nice it feels. She and she's just like, flop. <laughs> well, yellow's now prone. Gotta roll that 1d4. Isn't that what the rod is? The 3? Yeah, it's already there. Oh, it already rolled it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I stole this from Nimsheet. Yeah. Oh no. For ease of access. What will I do? <laughs> You're slightly oh, no. cooler. Yeah. <laughs> I'm slightly cooler. Whoa. Uh, and that's pretty much all she can do. I don't think Celeste has any melee attacks. No. I honestly thought she still had her crossbow. I don't see a crossbow here. Yeah, someone someone else must have a crossbow, though. Nim has the crossbow. Yeah. I forget what you not-casters have in not-guns. <laughs> All right, well, that's Celeste's turn. Uh, yeah, seems to be, because I don't see any melee attacks that she could do. Uh, and that, yeah. Um, unless she oh. wants to throw her knife. Yeah. Uh, Kayla's only knocked prone. She's not pushed, right? Yeah, she's only knocked prone. <laughs> On her. her butt. Her, her. We come I guess to we'll Samson. Uh, I'm back. Welcome back. So Samson is going to So if I want to use my like item like my use item thing and throw Sand in Prin's face. Do I have to be like next to him to do that? Yeah. Throw it over Yellow's head. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's, it's not gonna work if you try and throw it over her head. Aww. <laughs> eh. Um. Oh, this is what it feels like being me. Huh? Ah, water. This is amazing. <laughs> no, she means because she's short now. Yeah. But yeah, she's very uh, satisfied. So, <laughs> yeah, I will uh, pocket sand Prin to try and blind him with it. Mm -hmm. right, I you... have a fruit leather and it's distracting me. Fruit leather is so base. I'm so glad humanity invented it. Well, we have some in game, too. I don't think I've ever had it. No. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. You're sad. No. <laughs> and Samson's and alive. Silly. <laughs> and Samson takes his gun and points it to his temple. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, don't do that. Does he yell persona? No. <laughs> <laughs> Prinsona! Persona! <laughs> So yeah, I pocket sand print. <laughs> you could also just pick up sand off the ground. Eh, same shit. Um, do you have a thing made up for pocket sand, or do we have to figure out the mechanics again? I mean, give me a... Um, would it just be, like, 
uh, sand to his AC to cause blindness, the same way the lasso does a grapple. Yeah, I guess. Uh, right. Do we have to figure out what the DC is? Uh, well, I said to his AC. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I'm gonna tell you guys now, the second Nim can't do anything, she's taking a nap. A stress nap? Yes. No, and I don't <laughs> want to deal with my emotions nap. Nothing's happening, nothing. She wakes up, there's just no one else around. <laughs> and that's more Believe concerning. Lily's just a skeleton. <laughs> Oh my god, shows up like, Nim, Nim you did here. it! You survived! <laughs> I don't know how, but you managed to survive! <laughs> Come, child! I shall teach you all the ways of darkness and depravity! He's just like, he's so like, fuck it, whatever. He's just old, he's just got like, a dragon-shaped skull on his hand. <laughs> Moving it like a hand puppet. Don't oh, ask me where I'm... I got this, it may traumatize you. I'm gonna do it right <laughs> here. For that sweet advantage. Woo! You're triple flanking. Oh my god. Okay, oh, we just need Nim to flank him now. There we go. <laughs> now, everyone, now everyone gets the flankerino. Okay, first of all. If Nim got anywhere close to this, she'd be the first one to get hit, and she'd die. One hit. Just dogpiling fucking friend. Jesus. Yeah, poor Celeste is just like, hey, I'm worth hitting. <laughs> well, right, she's pocket like, sand. Out of the stomach. Oh, critical pocket sand! That huh. motherfucker can't oh, yeah. see again! His eyes are gone! Melted out of his skull. I, I joke, of course. Yeah. No, he's blinded. Woo! He's restrained and blinded. Yeah, um... Yeah, so let's see, that was... Um, actually... So that was my bonus action. Thank you uh, to down friend first, as one is kind of not a problem. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that Celeste can't do anything, and I'm going to grapple her with the lasso. Yeehaw! It's a 17 hit. Uh, let's check her AC again. Yes! Alright, so her speed is zero. Speed is zero! So I'm gonna grapple her too, and it's like... I don't wanna do this, but you ain't going nowhere. And she just looks horrified how everything's going so wrong so fast. Things have been going wrong so fast for the last two days in this campaign. Not for them. Well, I guess, yeah, for them. <laughs> Specifically, like, as they much for them as it is for right. us, but it's their fault. But it's going Samson luck. It's upswinging. You oh, went yeah. down, and it's upswinging now. Yeehaw! Can't wait until the next time you run out of kinetic energy. <laughs> so, so, I guess with that blind, he would have to take an action to, like, clear his eyes. Unless he's just that blind. That I mean, he'd tool. have to take an action for that, take an, uh, take an action to roll a strength save against the vines. Yeah. This boy's got multiple fucking Uno skips on his plate. Listen, dog. We have to keep bonking them. Yeah, listen. Uh, I don't play around. The item character is also the status effect master. So yeah, is that your turn? Uh, that's my movement. Your bonus action. Uh, my bonus action and my actions. So I would say. Um, let's see, how did this work out? Uh, um. Uh. Uh. 
Uh, so, since I have the lasso, I want to move five feet this way and try to pull Celeste towards me as well. Uh... Since it has a... Actually, no! Wait, no. She'd still be lassoed because it's a 50-foot one. Yeah. Yeah, never mind. So, yeah. I got it, and we're... Yeah. Can throw that Are... lasso for most of the distance of you riding. <laughs> Anyway. Well, I guess it's technically 45 feet, because five of the feet is used to make the actual, like, lasso loop. Yeah. Still. Yeah. Uh, so it's that ends your turn, turn, right? Yep. I got oh, boy! Celeste lasso. Fringe gets to do a thing. Not really, though. Blind restrained Fringe gets to do a thing. Listen. This is what happens when you mess with Samson J. Mary Baker. So, how the J stands for justice work for the blinded? Um, I guess it would just be, like, using his hands to clear the sand out of his eyes. Like, does he have... Uh, how does it work? Does he have to make a roll, or is it just you use your action to clear your eyes? Um, it, uh, well, it's normally you'd use your action to clear your eyes. Because this isn't a magical effect. This is just something that's in his eyes. Yeah, so yeah. he's gonna use his action to clear his eyes. And... And he's still partially restrained. Oh, and he can take 1d6 damage from the thorns. Woo! His feet bleed. Gross. Wait, hold up. What color is his blood? Oh, yeah. What color is his blood? Red. Oh, lame. Oh. Red blood, bitch. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> That's the one who I assume also. Does he even have... Do you remember if he has any, like, combat bonus actions? Um, only swinging his weapon, which you can technically only do after making a weapon attack. Which he can't, because he used an action. Yeah, unless you want him to, like, action surge. Nah. Too many things going on for any any person to reasonably think straight. Especially since he's all but in name berserk raging. Yeah. Ha ha, trust me, I've been there before. So that'll end his turn. Nim! Hi Nim! Uh, so How you, how's yo, that existential crisis going? Not well, <laughs> thanks for asking. Okay. So Nim is gonna. So wait, blindness. doesn't Nim have to get out of Lily like, the tarp to cast? Why? Because you can't cast on stuff you can't see. I thought it was mesh though, right? I mean, you can see out of it, but Lily's still behind the dune. Ugh. Fine. Nim will move. And see Celeste being almost hogtied by a lasso. Jeez. Man, and you guys don't like crate. him. Free Celeste. Print in a crater. Yeah, now it's Nim's turn to heal turn on us. So you just, like, <laughs> crawl over the dune? Yeah. Jeez. So and that's uh, 15 feet of her 30 movement. Nim will cast right. blindness. Huh? Jesus. You, you see what? You... No, not like that! Crazy! Get word. You no, are the worst at this! <laughs> I didn't think that when I said it. Uh, yeah, I wonder why. Because you don't think when you say dumb shit like this. It's not a fuck. It's not originally a sexual term. You made it. Anyway, why didn't oh, you hear I, what I you did said? I did not make it. I can assure you that. You made the you association. Hear what you said. Anyway, you see Prin getting assaulted by hoodlums. Yes. Better. But we're your hoodlums. Yeah, these are my hoodlums. Fuck Kelly. Bitch always having a fucking stream phrasing. Also, Brent has to make <laughs> another saying concept. saying dumb shit. Won't have to say it anymore. I can promise you <laughs> Get that. Get your mind out of the gutter! Uh, that's not that how that works. That is in fact how that works. That's not how that works. You are a gang. You are beating the shit out of him. Okay, so we're giving him a gang beating. Yes! 
But the slang is literally gangbang. It has another. Brand has to make a con or be blinded. <laughs> oh! And you see Celeste bleeding out of her abdomen, also tied up. Tim hates this. F everyone hates this. Yeah, no, nobody's having a good time. Except for Rhino. Rhino might be having a good time. Also, uh, I would be lying if Kelly didn't enjoy being gas with water. <laughs> Alright, I am gonna use my... What's it called? Thingy? Thingy? Yeah, it's... Bend luck. Also, don't you have, you have to roll on the table. Again. Yeah, well, let me that. roll on the table first. I don't rock it. So that brings us to two or three now? Two. All right, Prince goes. But he still makes it. I didn't do enough. All right, how many source points is that? And then Nim is gonna go back on the bug. <laughs> Comes out, goes in, and then goes back on the bug. Yeah. No, today's is not fun. Which is Come on, that ends. <laughs> We bring to Hiala! Woo! Get up, lazy cat! <laughs> she's gonna- she's gonna get up, shake off, like a cat. Just that full body starts at the head, goes to the tail. Yeah, yeah, all the way through the tip of the tail. Just... <laughs> she can take her time, because Prin has issues. Uh, and then, and then, and then... Uh, Funny how this seems to be the most, the most emotionally expressive Gala has been. Yeah. She hasn't, she hasn't done anything. She's in a she's in a war. She's right hey, Shut up. If mm -hmm. Gala doesn't have the ability to not emote, she's too focused on battle. <laughs> uh but yeah, anyway, so this. I'm gonna go make a second. Okay. So I'll be right back, but continue. And I'm on the other side of him, so your attacks get good advantage. Hmm. I think they already did because he's er, because he's restrained. Well, I thought we counted as he's like half restrained. Oh. Yeah. I don't know which effect. You have advantage! Is, yeah. The source is not so much important. And true. Well, that sucked. Oh wait, I have a vanish. It still kind of sucks. You got 14? <laughs> yeah. yeah, 14. Mm. I'm assuming that this is... Oh wait, that's against his AC, not damage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, that misses. Cool. Let's just swing again. Uh, that Stop misses. It. Dang. Yellow's really not as, like, into this. She would have liked to let on. <laughs> hey, she... You're not gonna believe me. But I've been thinking recently that she's a bit of a pacifist. <laughs> you know? Childhood war trauma might do it to you. <laughs> not into killing people. But very much into hunting. But yeah, no, she, like, there's definitely a part of her that, like, doesn't want to kill these two, so it <laughs> makes enough sense. Just down them. No, I just miss. You, you're hesitating. Yeah. Oh my god, it's okay. Gala has Gala, a consciousness! Gala? Gala? No, it doesn't. That's the end of your turn, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. We come to Rhino! Uh, yeah. So, he's okay. gonna go for that multi attack. The first one hits. 
It does 12. He goes again. Hey, boo -boo. He goes again. He gets a 23. And as you see Rhino bring this down, he brings his uh, face down on the prince's head, completely shattering his helmet into pieces. And you just hear the crack of Prince Skull Blech. in all its wet sliminess. Ew. And Prince just drops to the ground. And you hear Celeste just scream bloody murder. And then Rhino lifts up his maul again. And Prince's a body now. So he brings it down onto Prin. And as he brings it down into Prin's back, you just hear his spinal column just crack into pieces as the back of his armor just shreds. Samson's just gonna grit his teeth and just look away. And Rhino will just, with a key, you'll just hear the metal of the steel under the atom catch on the mace and you just hear yes! as Rhino dislodges the mace the blood and bodily fluids attached to it staining the uh, sand and Rhino will just turn around and he's still got his movement oh Rhino boy. Isola Rhino Thank Rhino you. acknowledges you as he's still turning around and he's looking at Celeste. We're done here. You he killed your murderer. And as he takes the first step, he, he just stops and he looks at you. Explain! <sighs> Celeste has only done what she was told to, which was to bring one of us with her to try to meet Zanzibar from her patron. She did not do anything to stop Prin, and she did not do anything to provoke him. You came here to hunt down that murderer, and then Samson's eyes are just gonna like, glean over to the Prin putty just a little bit is like, well, you got them. She had nothing to do with it. Inaction is just as bad as action. Then we're and just as guilty as she down. is. I'm telling you, she's not the, she didn't do it. She couldn't stop him and she didn't enable it. Look at her. Do you think she would be able to stop? Him? Okay, I'm back. I'm like, Hi. like uh, going, going to be. Um, trying to save Celeste. That's yeah. What's happening right now? Okay. Like, I, when, when I say look at her, I like gesture to the fact that she's like bound by a, like a lasso. Her hair is a mess. She's bleeding and crying. And Man. all she has on her to defend herself is a water bottle. <laughs> Nim's water. Rhino. That was a good choice. You got your speaks. revenge. And. That's a child. No, she's not. That's not the point. <laughs> take another five foot step forward. Are we fighting Rhino next? <sighs> ah, man! <laughs> and 
he just lifts up his mace, head down, and he just slams it into the sand with a little, like, sand sploosh coming up. So, did Prin die? Yeah. Ah. The rhino yeah. is many things, but the rhino is not a monster. That's bullshit. Debatable, know, but right whatever. Now. You just slammed I'm the dead body. Listen, a rhino was giving his southern justice. Man, don't tell them this. Okay, <laughs> so I can't. Are we to assume that we are out of initiative? Uh, you are in fact out of initiative. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I check to see who has the bag of holding? <laughs> Uh, Trin had the bags of holding on him. Is it laying in goo? Are they still there? Pretty <laughs> low. Well, nobody could have <laughs> taken him. Ew. Oh, well. He's a carcass. He's not putty putty. Well, Samson's gonna take the, uh... You, you loot right. the, um, bags of holding off of the corpse. Gosh, are you gonna make Nim press to digitize Prince's guts <laughs> off of these bags? <laughs> I mean, I was... I'm going to have to. Also, I'm probably not going to give this one back to Nim, and I'm still just going to buy her a new one. Ah, <laughs> uh, so Nim took a nap. Nim, yeah, Nim's out for the count. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand Rhino the rope holding Celeste. Is it like, just tie her up. I don't know if you have any, like, first aid, but, like, as long as she got that bullet in her, she ain't no threat. <sighs> also, you got a shovel? A shovel? Oh, so we're not gonna send a shovel. the body home? Okay. Yes, in my bag, Alphabon. Kala, you mind going with him to go get it? I'll... Take care of this. Uh, so will nod. She's definitely not comfortable being like within five feet of Rhino, though, so she's like walking like to the side and the ways back. Well, he's gonna walk forward to tie up Celeste fully. Hog time! What's the time? And, uh, roll me perception. All of us? Uh, Nim doesn't have to. She's asleep. She must have taken Yep. Nothing. All of us active? <laughs> yes. I bring another oh. golem to life! <laughs> so, <laughs> you, you look over at Celeste. You're, for whatever reason, drawn to just watch Rhino tie her up. And he gets within about ten feet of her. And then behind her, you just see as if the air is split by a line of gold and her hair just moves forward blown by wind as you see this woman with with fairly long like medium length hair golden flowing step out and she just looks at all of you and Rhino just stops and is staring I pull out my gun <laughs> Was your gun not already out? Oh yeah, I guess my gun was already out. <laughs> yeah. I start blasting. Yeah, so I start blasting. Please don't shoot God. <laughs> no, this is one of the gods, not. <laughs> I guess I hold, mm -hmm. I guess I'm. Oh, I guess I'm like holding my gun forward, being like, "Who the hell are you?" <sighs> And Celeste kind of like turns around, the really crying, sobbing mess she is. Help me! And soon, uh, this guard, well, soon, <laughs> kind of looks down at her and just clicks her teeth. Sure. And she just raises her forearm, Boy. takes fucking Celeste's head off. Oh my god, I'm so <laughs> glad Nim went to sleep! You bitch! I'm gonna fire at her. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm gonna fire his gun. Sure, fire your gun. 
Bang! I want to give myself advantage on it too. <laughs> Yeehaw! Uh, Go yes, ahead. because that's important. <laughs> give yourself advantage. All right. I'm pretty uh, sure it's just gonna get. <sighs> so. Wow, that was a good roll, Jesus Christ. Mm hmm. The bullet <laughs> comes within inches of her head. Like, nearly grazes her. And she kind of just quickly snaps her head to look at the bullet and snaps her head at you, and her eyes go wide. Oh boy. And she goes to reach down to grab Celeste and pull her back to the portal. And then. Right on the rope! Right! He goes to pull onto it. And tell a roaming perception, you're good at those. You your ears twitch to your right as you just hear the sound of something sailing. And as soon's picking up Celeste's body, you see a polewalk flying through the air, and the spearhead catches through Celeste's ribcage and oh my sends God. her corpse about 30 feet to the side right out of Soon's grip and that's when you see Death just come in and she's just marching towards Soon at that same time you feel you know like the earth just got nauseous and you feel I'm already nauseous man you feel a wave of like pressure you can't tell what the fuck it is but it just rides over everything and you feel like there's an earthquake and all you hear echoing through the atmosphere is I see you soon and with that really funny if he said I'll see you soon yeah uh, she'll see you later <laughs> and she just looks terrified and soon hops back through the portal and the portal just she... closes yeah. I guess she wasn't as ahead as she thought. <laughs> what up? What up? What up? Ah! What up? What Ah! I hate how I'm always so like close to these crits, but <laughs> never close. But like, ah! Gosh, could you imagine if you just shot God? <laughs> I would have had such a high. <laughs> Man, Nim. So glad she's asleep. <laughs> the best decision I could have made. Uh. You should take the last rock, though. It it grants bonuses. I don't think so. If she's dead. No, because uh, that's just something you can hand over. It's not like attuned. I don't believe. It's I given don't... power by her contract. You know, uh, the one we terminated it. with her yeah, life. Yeah, I think the contract might be null and void. Yeah, maybe. Uh, just maybe. But just as, a tad. As soon as soon disappears, death just like leaps, just runs over to Celeste's body. Death, I'm so glad you're here. For once. <laughs> she pays you no mind if she quickly uh, grabs her implement as soon as Celeste's body begins to like glow and as she shoves the spear end deeper you oh, see a I don't know about that actually counter reaction yeah. and you see just like dark gas looks like it's writhing it's necrotic but I don't know if either Kiala or Samson can identify necrotic matter hell no yeah and it just binds around Celeste's corpse, and it's basically at odds with the radiance that's trying to envelop her body. <laughs> can can the radiance be f help fought that with that bullet in her like heart? Um, it, it's getting in the way of both of these things. Yeah, Samson. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you shot, you shot. Do you, tell, <laughs> do you tell anything to death, or do you just let her keep trying to struggle with it? Is there any I'm gonna go up to death and be like, is there anything we can do? She just looks at you 
still, and she's trying to think quick. What did you shoot her with? An atom bullet. And oh. as soon as you say that, she just props the body over, finds the bullet hole, and dives her fingers into the hole. And she just... Here, I thought we wouldn't fishes. deal with any more dead bodies. And she fishes it out. And as soon as she takes it out, the necrotic powers take over the body. And she dislodges her Vecta Corbin and plunges the raven beak into the corpse one more time and you see her begin to like pull it up and it's like there is a line attached to the corpse and the corpse starts to basically wither and condense into a small pearl not to make yet another kind of fucked up joke but i thought you were gonna make an operation joke <laughs> no but you know you see the golden radiance just condense around Pearl, and then the outside of the pearl is just covered in that black necrotic energy. And the pearls literally could fit into your fingers. So that's her body, right? Well, you don't know that yet. You could definitely well, ask. You, you said that she lifted the body up and it turned into a pearl. Yeah, they're watching. Yeah, I, I know. But you don't know if that's still her body or if now it's become something else is the point I'm trying to allude to. Oh, well, I'm just, I, obviously I think it's her body. Yeah. Whether I know it or not, I think it's her body. <laughs> okay. I'm just letting you know you could definitely get the answer. Is that Celeste? <sighs> Unfortunately, yes. That's all I can do. I take it that's to stop her soul from getting sucked up by whatever the hell she made a contract with. Yes. It was never in the plan to let Celeste fall into the hands of that contemptible bitch. You took the words right out of my mouth and added some new ones. An Aladrin soul is valuable, especially to soon. Zanzibar accounted for this, and, well, things were put in motion. <sighs> How have you been, Mary Cassatt, since you married me? As she gives you a weak smile. Well, it's been pretty shitty, uh, but thanks for asking. I can say that for certainty, for the uh, last few days, I think it would have been better if I walked into the rainforest of Zanzibar myself. Compared to everything I've been going through, um, kind of just put two of the only people in this world I could trust, uh, six feet under, one of whom is glowing, and the other one is a uh, huddle over there. And now I think I just. And now I think I just made an enemy of a god. And she kind of just stares at you and it's like... And she just yeah. says... I fail to see the problem with the last one, but... I, um, I, I don't know if you know this about me. Uh, I don't think I have what it takes to see a god, but... I can... I bet to you... Next time I see her, I'm not gonna miss. And at that, she just gives you a very, like, happy smile. A menacing, but happy smile. Creep. Well. One could only hope. Can... Death, this ain't fair, is it? What'd you say? I missed it. I said, death, this ain't fair, is it? <laughs> These... These two, it weren't their, it wasn't their time, was it? Contrary to what you may have been meant to believe, there is no time. If someone dies or something dies, that's simply it. I guess by your logic, then it was always time. That bad. <laughs> I'm no. sorry I couldn't give you a better answer, but that is the truth. Uh, 
that's why uh, immortality is a concept that people cling to. Because theoretically, you could live forever, but there will always be something or someone trying to stop you. Can I say my last goodbyes to them? Well... As she kind of looks at the pearl. I am afraid she won't be able to hear anything. There isn't much of a she left in this world. I'll say what I can. Um, where exactly is Prince Sol? He's still in his body. I haven't woken it yet. You mind? Not at all. As uh, she'll kind of walk past uh, Rhino. Well, I'm assuming you and Toe. Yeah, like, I, I, I'm I, with her. I'm also assuming Hiala is just gonna start piecing for Lily. What? Yeah. No, she hasn't moved. Oh, ever since enough. death arrived? No, ever since the battle ended. She is stone cold stiff. And as she passes Rhino, Rhino is just gonna bow his head and close his eyes. And she'll lift up the back to Corbin, and she'll just go to it, and then stop, because she she's going to, like, hit the chest plate. She's like, hmm. Oh, right, um, no, it's probably fine. just, and then she kind of just goes over to his foot, and then, <laughs> Bink. yeah, she, she just binks the beak of the back to Corbin <laughs> on his foot. And you just see the uh, same, like, ethereal energy you saw before, like, when she dealt with the corpse you had, and... Yeah, that's the only other time you saw it. But... It's different than what she did for Celeste. That was much more involved yeah. and much more chaotic. Yeah. And so... you see it kind of, like, lift and then fade. There's no ghost in front of you, but she just stands, looks at you like she did what you asked. Um, can he hear me? And she kind of looks to where there is nothing. And like, over him? Well, she can see him. You can't. If that's not coming through clear. Yeah, so that, well, I that's what I'm trying to get at. But So she can see him, so they're... She's basically going to be like an intermediator between us. Yeah. So she Samson. Looks over where you don't see anything, and she looks back, and she just nods. So Samson is going to take off his hat, hold it to his chest, and just take off his goggles and just look forward. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> I really did mean it when I said that I thought we could be friends. And I hate that it had to come to this. I don't know if you saw what happened. But that's what you were looking that's what you were working with. I'm not trying to pretend like what I just did what we just did was right. Just gonna say the first thing that's been on my mind since I woke up to those pirates running in holding guns at us the news that you guys are gone bring Kulo Bellatos I'm really gonna miss you and I really hope that's not it wouldn't have come to this I'm not gonna leave you here. No matter what differences we had, you were just like the rest of us. Passed with something completely out of your capabilities. And 
manipulated by forces greater than your own. But I'm gonna make sure you make it home, friend. As a person, as a friend, I owe you at least that much. And I really hope you're not first in me right now. Have a have a safe journey. And I'll see you when I see you. And with that, Samson will like look away and kind of bite at his like lip as he's wiping tears from his eyes. trials, through your struggles, through your challenges, and through your successes. This moment has left its impressions on all three of you. You gain a level. Woo! I'll leave them with you. This will be fast. Unless you suddenly learn how to transition swords. As she gives you a No? Smile. You wanna give me a few pointers? No. Well I tried. And right on we'll walk up to her and show whisper some stuff into his ear and he'll go to work undoing the armor pieces from Prince body and kind of just trying to move whatever gets in his way from doing that out of the way so you know mangled limb broken collarbone you know shifting it it's very dirty work I'm gonna go rush to the uh, to Lili and grab the tarp. And also, then like run back out, to... we have extra cloth, but whatever. No, that's what I mean. Oh, okay. The canvas, the canvas clerk, um, that Samson picked up. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna slap a ration tag on Prin's body and then just like, tie, like, um, I guess sort of like, burial wrap his body when the uh, armor's off right yeah well I assume he's doing this as I'm running to the uh... yeah so yeah so you uh... burial wrap as much of Prin's body as you can mm-hmm yeah there, there's some folding and tucking you gotta do because well yeah Prince and like he, yeah and he's got the he's got the uh ration tag on him yeah oh that's right you have bodies to lose yeah well, i guess well no we have body Well, you, you have what wasn't. When I said Celeste's body, I meant like literally her physical body. Oh, so like her clothes are still there? Yeah, there's kind of a disheveled heap. I didn't think of that Whack. when the words were coming out of my mouth, but. Gross. Whack. I ain't going through that. But her journal! Probably in the clothes heap. Yeah. 
Go get it. No, don't get it yourself. I'm asleep. Napper. Wake up to and bed. wake up and find out that your fucking wake up friend and smell is the corpse. dead. Ugh. Okay. So I was gonna ask, but uh, did that wave of like death energy would that have woken him up? Probably. Yeah. Okay, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Just a complete, <laughs> like, malice wave that just rocked across everything. Nim's experienced this, like, four or five times. It's not that shocking. Like, oh, Zanzibar, are you calling me? It's like, oh, where is everybody? No! <laughs> no! No, I was <laughs> not! My god, what is wrong with you? Ah, so annoying! Perish! But also don't. I, I need Come here though. All right, I'll be right back. I just got to use the restroom. Okay. Nim's gonna like walk up to your homies. And then wish he hadn't. Yeesh. Yeah, like what do you, what do you do? You walk up to a blood scene? Yeah. And a heap of clothes with no context. Yeah, most people throw up if you if you want to. Nim, Nim's thrown up too many times on this adventure. Yeah, but you know. We're also about to meet Zanzibar. She's got to keep any food she has in her stomach. <laughs> That's it. Was all part of the plan. Zanzibar <laughs> was prepping you. Anyway, but yeah, so. uh... Ugh. Yeah, and then we'll look through Celeste's so close. Jeez. No, just we'll grab them. No, like, hey, why is Celeste's clothes lying here? Nope, I don't want context. Explain nothing, I just want book. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to me. So I'm gonna wait for Eddie to get back before I roll with that. That's fair. Oh shit, my coffee. I... I'm gonna be right back. As well. But not as long as the first time. Ah! My house shoe! My half shoe! Okay, I'm back. Shay's gone. Ah. So, unbeknownst to me, I drank through a th a little carton of coffee milk and two bottles of water. Mm. I couldn't have tell you when I did this. All I remember was sort of sitting down and then, like, playing the video game. <laughs> what? Video game, you mean D&D? Yes. video list game. The not-so-video game. I'm gonna take that as... Having a ball. Or been I've been invested. <laughs> yeah, I feel like having a ball is a little too positively connotative. For what just happened. <laughs> so you know, you finally got to what? Level 7 now? Woohoo. <laughs> ba da ba da ba ba <laughs> Oh man, I thought you'd be so much more excited for getting a level up. What okay. could possibly be keeping you down? I am back, but I'm and stirring coffee, but I'm here, so talk that about what That would have been cooler if Randall wasn't there. What would have been cooler if Randall wasn't there? Uh, the actual fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big re that's a big part why my plan was always okay, Rhino, you stay back. Yeah, well you guys said you were scared of dying, so No, I wasn't. Well Literally this whole this whole, these past two weeks I've been like, well safe and gonna die. <laughs> okay, okay. Fine. He did no. No, Everyone I mean, was scared of Samson that, dying. No, I mean, like, before that, all three of you were concerned about, like, 
not mm -hmm. having a healer or any potions, which is a valid concern. And yeah, we, we have, have the potions. So, therefore, you had you had somebody who could fulfill your concerns. Yes, he gave us the potions. That's all we needed. You were also saying that you didn't have a tank anymore. Well, yeah, because we had to go fight our tank. <laughs> he also didn't have a team to back him up. I don't see the problem. It's no, not that we- no, I wasn't worried about that for this encounter. I was worried about that for literally every other encounter between this and that. Well, <laughs> things worked out how they worked out. Yeah. In a really bloody I, way. I had a feeling judge. Rhino would kind of just come in and, like, decimate Prin. <laughs> in terms of out of the two of them, Prin was definitely the primary target. Oh, well, yeah, and once... once Celeste was out of the way, it was just kind of print the boss fight. So, if this were a modern day campaign, I could be like Nymph, like, dab the depression away. Nymph can invent dabbing. Yeah. Nymph wouldn't dab. Come what on. What spell is dab? <laughs> yeah, I want to cast dab on the haters. A ninth level <laughs> restoration spell. Oh my god. A ninth level evocation. <laughs> yes. Please make it a thing. Please make it a thing. I'll consider it. So anyway. Yay. Not if I consider it first. No. Goes into homebrew. Dab on the haters. But, uh, yeah, where was I? So Nim goes over to try and collect Celeste's belongings. Yeah. And, uh, can you even lift the book? If Celeste could lift it, Nim could. She was stronger than Celeste. Well, I true. don't know anymore. Every oh. other, like, second, I I feel like I hear you going, Ha Nim can't lift. No, you're absolutely right. She has a zero modifier, but Celeste had a negative one. Negative two. Yeah. Ha, had. Ow. Anyway. <laughs> so, you yeah. lift up the book. And, uh, you do anything with the belongings, or you just decide to try and walk back to Lili? Walking back to Lili, ignoring everything. <laughs> also, she says hi to death, and then leaves. Yeah, as you say hi to death, death will kind of, like, stop you. And she'll just put her hand on the book and just say softly and sweetly, I'm sorry, my dear, but I'm going to need this. Ugh. Kill me first, I'm kidding. <laughs> that could be arranged! <laughs> it could be, quite easily. No, she doesn't actually say that. She Neither just, did no. You know, says she needs the book. Can I read it first? No. I mean, there's not really time for you to read the whole book. No, let them speed read it. I want to know if she'll let you keep it long enough to read it. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Make a copy. Normally I would decline to really read what you want. However, it sounds a lot better to read it now rather than later. We can We're read it like, too. literally can going we, there. Can we get it back when we get there? certainly ask him if he's willing to part with it, but he explicitly I... said that he wants this book. I'm so tempted to call him! Eh. Nim's gonna take another nap anyway, so she hands over the book. I thought you meant now when she just passes out. <laughs> <laughs> she just lets go of the book, that's fine, oh. and she just slumps into the sand face down. Jeez. Just extreme Damn. depression napping. <laughs> yeah, but she'll hand over the book. And Death will take the large tome and she'll put it under her arm. And Nim goes to take a nap. After casting Prestidigitation on herself and Gala, so she can sleep an hour. Death will turn back to the rest of you, and she'll just say, 
I take it you'll be able to make it the rest of the way relatively safely? Yes, no. Nope. So. Does Xiao actually just say no? Oh no, she's still catatonic. <laughs> catatonic! <laughs> catatonic. <laughs> yeah. Pun slightly intended. <laughs> but also, she's catatonic. If this is what you guys call coming together, and part of my rudeness, that's fucked up. And then she, her, her face kind of changes, and she's like, Did I say something wrong? Yeah, just a bit. Leave. I don't want you here. <laughs> a little deaf. I... Hurts. It just still hurt. Right. I... I don't usually talk to the living. Um, yeah, I figure as much. I wonder why. See you soon! And, and then her no. face perks up again and she's like, Bye! And, and she kind of just realizes she's got a book under her arm. She's holding Celeste in her left hand. And she's holding the uh, back to Corbin with the right hand. She just kind of like tries to tuck it under her arm, and you just see with her right hand she tries to make a snapping, like a finger snap. And she's like, <clears throat> and as she snaps, she just disappears. Well, that was a thing that happened. That was a lot of things that happened, Shay. That was oh, a yeah. nuts amount of things that have happened. That was all the things that happened. We still got time. We still got a half hour, but anyway. So, I, can unpacked. I go pick up the bullets I dropped in the sand? Absolutely. I'm super glad I had to leave because now I know as much as Nim knows. <laughs> uh, it was bad. Oh, yeah, no. I, like, walked in and out because I didn't want to miss too much. Uh -huh. But I walked in on. And he, like, swings down his uh, <laughs> thing. And then I walked right back out to finish cutting cake. <laughs> The thing is, that could be two separate occasions. Exactly, and I want no context. <laughs> so you see! <laughs> well, I guess you gotta watch the recording. <laughs> no. <laughs> I oh, want no on, context. Great. No it's context. Great. I want to know as much as Nim knows. <laughs> Valid. But, uh, Gosh, I wish I could erase my memory. Why am I not my other character? <laughs> so Rhino's just gonna like turn around to Samson. Gucci? And, and he's just gonna open up his mouth and raise his finger, and then he's gonna stop for a second, and he's gonna go for it again. Then he's just gonna like start rubbing his forehead. The Rhino feels like the Rhino wants to know how you are on a familiar basis with. Death. But the rhino is quickly learning to ask less questions. <laughs> the worker is done, go away. <laughs> but the rhino is also considering of letting the curiosity kill the orc. Uh, <laughs> so, Samson's just gonna hold his hand out towards um, rhino and just go, the canter. <laughs> Give. Oh, that's right. Nim, Nim took back her decanter. Oh shit, did. you're right! Yeah, you got your decanter back! Aren't you so happy? No! <laughs> decanter acquired! So, oh, wait, wait a minute! Tell you this? Ha -ha. They lost a lot for someone who has nothing to lose. Hold on, wait a minute. Just have that decanter. Yeah. <laughs> decanter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I got that. I love it. I remembered because that was like the first thing you played when she got the decanter at first. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You, you gotta put that every time we get an item. <laughs> No, we said that when we first got to decanter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
But now it's funny because people no. are dead. No, it's only when we get the decanter back. I wish I could lose it again. Fix up a funny murder, way of working murder, out. Murder, 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 murder. The recurring joke of the decanter always gets stolen. That'd be so funny. Why can they that never get to that... keep anything? It's that thing that only actually happens twice, but then the whole fan base latches onto it and is like, haha, this happens uh, every single time. Ah, uh, yes, the fan base. As yeah. in everyone present. No, I, I mean, just in general, like, that type of thing. Oh, yeah, no, I just mean our fan base. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. of Lord everyone no. present. Shut up. Send me Celeste inventory. <laughs> <laughs> God, what are you keeping track of inventory, you weirdo? I always have been. It's just my character doesn't carry anything. <laughs> you weirdo? Nim keeps your shake, keeps track of hey, inventory. Always has been. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I uh, I tell Rhino to give me the um. He hands it. The She's got a dagger, leather armor, holy water, five potions of healing, common clothes. Her personal journal, which she's no longer Oh, using just like possession. send me the list because I can't write that down as fast as you say it. I. It's not take a, a list. screenshot. It's not her character sheet. Well, oh, take a, screenshot. take a screenshot. Of like just the character sheet. I mean, the uh, inventory. Wait a minute, I can't send you that. That has a list of all the characters. Yeah, uh, do that. <laughs> I just imagine while we're all still like waiting for more things well, to happen, we're all just standing around oh. bobbing, and it's like, Rano, hand me the control goddamn water bottle. He should did. Allow you to he make has. Like, You've said that three times, and I keep saying he hands it to you. I did not get that because all, all I keep hearing is like, oh, I asked Rano for the water bottle. Can I get Celeste's inventory? I asked you to do it first, then you said no. Oh yeah. So. Mm -hmm. I have my own things to do. Um, I gotta use the decanter to try and clean off the inside of Prin's armor. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Alright, now Nim has three daggers! Yay! He's moving up in the world. One dagger at a time. <laughs> well, so then. as you clean off the roof armor, Rhino is going to uh, start collecting the armor and putting it in a cloth sack. How much is Prince armor? Like, how much does it weigh? Oh, no. Okay, well, how much did. Well, it should say the weight on it, shouldn't it? Uh, you know what? I'll check if it does. Uh, 65. Alright. I think I should still be able to carry it. Yeah, I should most certainly be able to carry it. And you're gonna carry it? Yeah. The sack of armor. Yeah. May the, now the... add sack of armor to your inventory. Yeah, I just will bring it to his parents. Yeah. Um. So wait, does it weigh any less or any more with the atom on it as opposed to like a normal? We agreed like, that the atom uh, adds negligible weight to pretty much anything. Okay. Because it's so light. Okay, cool. Right, because there's only, like, atom plating as opposed to being fully constructed of atom. Yeah. It was overlaid. Do you yeah, loot the rest of his belongings? I mean, I already took the bag of the bags of holding, so I might as well, since I'm, like, wrapping his body up. Well, there's his, there's the insignia of rank. Uh, there's the deck of cards. 
You remember the oh. deck of cards? Oh. I oh. do. And Samson looks at the deck of cards and you just hear him choke a little. The set of fine clothes. We I mean, that, would, that still would have been on his body, right? Yeah. Now, because he's wearing armor, right? Not actual clothes. He wears the clothing under the armor. Yeah, the jammies. Okay. <laughs> uh, the plate armor recovered. His two long swords. His explorer's uh, pack, which I don't know. You could tear that up as you want. I, I don't know what would be in that. Take the rope. I think that's the only thing that might be useful. Um, I'll just take the whole damn thing. I have bags of holding now. A scroll of his pedigree. Alright. Four superior healing potions. Alright. Um, you said it was an explorer's pack, right? Yeah. And then the last three things in his inventory inventory were all provisions that he burned through. Then there... Your superior? Yeah, superior Healing hearing potions. potions. Four of them. How much do his uh, long sword? His long swords are three each. Or it okay. says there's two, and then it says three. So I'm assuming three each. Yeah, yeah that's how that works. How much damage do they do? Something uh, long that, sword damage? Something that your character would not know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Because eventually these sheets are going to be deleted. Uh, he had proficiency in card games. Really? Yeah. Huh. Vehicle, land, card games, and then he knew two languages, common and draconic. Figure as much. Yeah. So, you could assume that Fren really liked to play card games. He could have. Without an alcohol. <laughs> and the last thing that I can see in his inventory is there's 2,080 silver pieces and 299 gold pieces. So 280 silver and 290 gold? Uh, no, 2080. 2080 silver. So 2080 and then 299 for gold. Did he not have his platinum? I guess he must have spent it. Yeah, remember he almost immediately burned it on the potions. Yeah, so it was. Uh... So I'll take that. And then, how much, sorry, how much gold was it again? 299. <sighs> All right. Um, I'll put the long swords in my um, bag of holding. Because the only things I can't put in the bag of holding are the armor. Yeah. In a surprising twist of fate, Nimnel has uh, Celeste. The same amount of stuff Celeste was carrying, and now is also 19 pounds. I was carrying so little. I take it Nim does not want her bag of holding back. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I get the feeling Nim's just gonna be holding on to Celeste's clothes like Yala holds on to her coat. <laughs> Which I also um, feel like so the, like uh, Yala is going to be sitting holding on to her coat. <laughs> I mean, two people just 
holding on to articles of clothing and not talking. <laughs> Nah, it's in her bag. I mean, Samson, Samson's holding <laughs> his armor. And body. <laughs> yeah. Ew. Grabbing his body. It's wrapped up. It's got a ration tag on it. Most importantly, it doesn't stink. Now that's what the ration tag's there to prevent. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is gonna smell... preserved or otherwise. Well, good thing it'll smell in this weird astral plane pocket. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, the you pull out just smells like rain. It can't emit odor if it's basically in a different... frozen in time. Yeah. Hey, can can I stick one of those on me? No. I don't. I don't want to experience anymore. <laughs> nice try, yeah. but. So, uh, Nim wouldn't hold Celeste's stuff. It's just in her bag. Well, yeah, but... Yeah. No, Nim's taking a nap. Very long nap. And Rhino will walk back to Lily, climb up, get in his bag. Sam, did you go back to Lily? Yeah. Samson will go back to Lily. You see Rhino Man, we all need a drink. taking out uh, two by fours of wood and he's just like he's got a small hammer and he's just nailing them together. Is he making a coffin? You could ask. Nim's asleep. What you, what you doing over there, Rhino? The Rhino is making a box. Unless you Genuinely want to carry around the fallen body of a comrade. That's what we oh. did last time. We'll just keep it there uh, until we can get it back to his home country. In the box? In the bag? Like, Rhino didn't notice you put it in the bag. So he's, like, fully expecting there to be a body. Someone's so observant, he pulled the wool over his eyes. <laughs> he's been through a lot. <laughs> we all have. Oh, wait, wait. Hey, he cannot say shit about being through things. <laughs> it's not every day that you're holding the rope to a person that you then watch get to from a god. Yeah, it's not every day that person is you, one of your best friends, neither. Well, Rhino, Rhino can hold having, that fucking L. Everyone's <laughs> having a moment. <laughs> All right, let's let's get moving sooner rather than later. Uh, are y'all just gonna leave kills standing there? Oh, um, um, well, the I mean, oh yeah, I guess I'll um. I'll, I'll notice that Kiala's not back, and I guess I just ignored her while I was packing up Prin. That's valid. She was ignoring you, too. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back to... Uh, can you also send a screenshot of Prin's thing, just to make sure I got it all? Uh, Please get thanks. Sure. I'll leave it up till next session, and then next Thursday I'll delete them. That's fine. Oh, I'm already on the fucking... I'm smart. I totally forgot he had a deck of cards. That... Honestly, like, good, because that just makes it an even bigger wham moment. Yeah, no, that that hit harder than genuinely anything else would happen. That hit harder than Rhino's Maze. <laughs> yeah. THE deck of cards! That hit me for way more than 23 damage. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking went all the way back in time. To when it was water and not sand. Holy fuck. <laughs> Alright, so, what does Samson say to Gala? Uh, I would Gala. suggest just tying her up and dragging her over to Lily. Uh, I'm just gonna, like, try to tap on her first and foremost. Like, a tap on her shoulder, just be like, Kala, are you... there? 
Uh, for now, she seems to not quite be. Let's get going. I'm gonna dra I'm gonna like grab her by her arm I, and just start of, like leading her back towards Lily. Yeah, she she's just gonna kind of follow along sideways. I, I genuinely fucking thought you were going to say I'm going to grab her by the tail and drag her back. Oh my god! Oh jeez. Oh, that'll get her. uh... If Kiala didn't like Samson before, she sure won't after that. I don't. I, she's not even here right now, man. Oh uh, no, Kiala's an NPC now. <laughs> now Kiala's an NPC. No. <laughs> only, oh. only for now. Kiala betrayed the park. <laughs> no. I don't think she can betray anything. She doesn't even know the party's there. She's betraying existence. Yeah. So yeah, I'll guide Kala over to Lili. I'll have like be like Lili, can you bring her up? Gross. And because Slime. Lili like saw none of this, Lili's just like <laughs> Yeah. Wrap her that's a... tentacles around Kala and just lay her on her back and then pat Kala on the head with the head tendril. Yeah. Right on. Water, Lily. You did good, girl. Man. And you just hear Rhino scratching next to her eye, like under her eye. And he's saying something you can't really understand. I don't think anyone cares to right now. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Uh, can you go into Prin's character sheet and see if it has his weight anywhere? It would be under bio, that's where it... it... Yeah, but I don't have access to it anymore. It, it would, it would in fact be under bio, um... It says 230? Uh, he was I'll about... Put a... He weighs about 220 now. Yeah, I was about to say, I'll put in about 220. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I assume no one wants to talk. <laughs> Rhino, on a chance, do you have any liquor? The Rhino will kind of just... Like... You can tell he hears you, but he's kind of just in his own headspace right now. He's like, Rhino will check the Rhino's back. As he kind of like gets up on the Lulu and starts rummaging through his bag. And he pulls okay, out. Okay, I sure hope so. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. And he pulls out a bottle and he just looks at the label. Alright, I was not sure if you will enjoy this, but... I don't need to enjoy it right now. Who drinks for enjoyment? And he'll, uh, pass the bottle off to you. Samson's just gonna down it in, like, pure misery. Aww. I will allow I don't, you to just... I down it in pure misery. I don't care what it tastes like. Yeah. It, sad, son. All it tastes like is sadness. Uh, you tasted that already anyways. Yeah. Or one out for your homies. <laughs> so, Nims asleep with, um, Celeste stuff, right? Yes. Are you, wait, are you just, like, curled up in Celeste's belongings? No. Oh, thank fuck. That'd be sadder. Yeah. <laughs> Saddest. Yeah. Um. So, what Samson is going to do is, uh, kind of want to look at, like, 
the pile of stuff that uh, Celeste had. And I want to grab those pearls. She had pearls? I thought she had diamonds. Oh, were they diamonds? I yeah, she had three pearls. uncut diamonds. Yeah, I'll take the diamonds. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nim's not trying to stop you, and is also well, you're asleep. asleep. Yeah. Nim yeah, can't so. stop you. So yeah, Samson is just going to be sad, drink, and take those diamonds and just throw them somewhere. Um... Somewhere that he'll, like, definitely know. He'll keep them on his person. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll take a... Uncut thing. And right now I'll grab Lily's reins and she'll start moving onwards towards your destination. Yep. How far away are we? Uh, a few hours. I'd say maybe like ten hours. Oh my god. One's passed out asleep, the other one is like <laughs> catatonic. Uh, yeah, catatonic. Where else? Yeah. She's physically here. But she's somewhere else. L like, actually disassociating. Yeah. And then Not Samson's just drinking, drinking with his mind <laughs> racing. Like, it has his mind racing, and it's just drinking, trying to make it stop. Uh. Don't get drunk, though. We gotta talk to Xandax. You think Samson cares? Yeah. He'll show up fucking sh wasted. <laughs> Xandax can suck it. Yeah? All of this is his fault. Yeah. Well. What now? I don't know, you got two minutes to stop. That might just be a good place to stop. Honestly, unless, unless like, you unless want more is... angst. Unless this something is going to now. Yeah, unless something is going to fight us, like on the way there, we should just Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, we start there next session. <laughs> well, we have to see if anything fights you. I guess oh, you'll know. The dice. Shit. I don't know, those end of day fates were literally just against How that. well Yeah. No. I guess we auto succeed on our fate against them. Yeah. I I would Yeah, it kinda like there's no one left to fight. Unless you wanna have nightmares about reliving that fight. Ah, Nim that's didn't what fight. The drink, that's uh, what the drinking's for. My man I have to sleep to have Yeah. <laughs> Cat ain't sleeping. Cat no sleep. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. yeah. I will- I will take a point of exhaustion just to, like, make the point that she's not going to be able to sleep. For a few days. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, Unless somebody Jake. physically knocks her out. I could take the sleep spell and force you to sleep. Well, you have a whole nother level, so if you- you could definitely take the sleep spell. Yeah. I can cast fourth level stuff now, so I'm trying to decide if I should or not. Yeah, I'm gonna cut the recording.